You may have thought that the FIFA franchise is now finished, that EA have left to make EA Sports FC, but FIFA actually want to create their own game from scratch. Will they do this on their own or could they potentially partner up with a development studio to get this done? This question comes up because FIFA obviously don't develop video games, so they have two options. Number one is to partner up with a development company. This could potentially be, let's say 2K, or it could be maybe Konami, any development company, or they could actually sell the FIFA naming license to a different company, just how they had the agreement with EA. So somebody else is gonna be making the game or maybe a game that they've already got, and they're just gonna be rebranding to the FIFA license, but that could be very expensive for that company. Out of these two options, the first one definitely looks more likely because the FIFA president is looking to develop his own game and he has mentioned this multiple times before. He said that they want to launch a rival video game in competition to EA and that FIFA 25, FIFA 26, 27 and so on is gonna be the better game. But obviously we are waiting for that to happen and how is all of that actually going to be unfolding? In 2021, FIFA said in a press release that FIFA is engaging with various industry players, including developers, investors and analysts to build out a long-term view of the gaming, esports and interactive entertainment sector. So it looks like that they are going for that first option they want to develop their own game and obviously from FIFA's standpoint as well that is going to be more profitable because when they're actually involved in owning that game and actually developing that game then they can make revenue from that whereas if they just license the name out just how they had it with EA they're only making that revenue from what EA is paying them for those naming rights nothing more. One of the options is Take-Two Interactive also known as 2K Sports. They have loads of success in other sports games such as NBA 2K, also WWE 2K, and they also have many other games such as Red Dead Redemption, uh, GTA, so they are very, very busy uh, developing and they definitely have the experience in developing video games and even specifically sports video games as well. We do know that in 2021, they did actually acquire a mobile football game, Top 11. Uh, so this obviously is hinting that they're getting involved uh, in the football market, but obviously a mobile game is extremely different to a full-blown video game that's available on PlayStation and Xbox. But the CEO, Strauss Zelnick, was actually asked about FIFA and EA breaking apart and what that could potentially mean. And he replied saying, we're definitely interested in expanding expanding our opportunities in sports and FIFA has a great brand and incredible clout, but we have no current plans to discuss. Just as I was recording this video, new information has become available, which suggests that we're gonna be seeing a Lego football video game created by 2K. So maybe they could actually be having a serious sort of simulation style game. And then on the other hand, they could actually be having a Lego sort of more unserious arcade style uh, football game as well. So. Lego, this actually looks like it could be happening because uh, 2K did actually gain all of the licenses, all of the permission from Lego to actually create games uh, based on Lego. And we have actually seen recently, they released a racing game, uh, actually 2K Drive, that is what it's called. And the football game is reportedly going to be called Lego 2K Goal. So this is a serious thing, uh, which is actually happening. According to uh, a Korean uh, sort of game rating agency or a committee, it looks like uh, that they've already rated the game. They've given it a rating, which suggests that the game has to be complete. Uh, maybe it's still uh, in sort of like testing stage, but it is uh, soon going to be available potentially by the end of 2023. So this is very exciting. 2K haven't made any official announcements or anything like that whilst I'm recording this video, but 2K definitely looks like they're gonna be getting involved with the football video game market one way or another, may it be in Lego. 
Next, we do have Konami. They have obviously been involved in the football video game market for a while now. They've been uh, the main competition, the only competition really, to EA uh, with their PES, which was rebranded to eFootball, uh, and they did take a free-to-play approach. So would it make sense for them to pay a huge amount to try and license the FIFA naming rights uh, and use those FIFA naming rights? I don't think so. Some other companies that could potentially fill that gap to develop the new FIFA are Activision Blizzard. They are one of the largest video game companies in the world. They have of course produced game titles like Call of Duty and Overwatch, which is also very big in esports. So there's a lot of uh, money potentially involved if they do make a really good football video game. Then we do have Tencent Games. You may have not directly heard of that company. Uh, they are a huge company in China that own uh, quite a lot of stake in uh, lots of different uh, video game companies such as Riot Games who make League of Legends and Valorant. Uh, they also have a little bit of a smaller stake uh, in Epic Games who of course have developed Fortnite. So this looks like maybe more down the right route of mobile gaming. Uh, FIFA did mention that they want multiple different things. Perhaps FIFA is going to be developing a new mobile game uh, and also they're going to be doing a video game and even some other maybe like V are who knows uh, apple vision pro uh, football experiences so maybe uh, tencent could be somebody that fifa partners with that and then we do also have some other uh, other companies that could be possibilities uh, sega is maybe a possibility uh, for football manager that could be quite cool if fifa did partner up with them uh, maybe Ubisoft. There are many different options, but comment down below which one you think is the most likely from this video.